Hello everybody, Ben Woodruff here with another falconry video. Today's falconry video, we're going to talk about one of my favorite species on the planet, and that is the black hawk eagle, also known as the tyrant hawk eagle. This is a really cool species, it's beautiful, and not a lot of information is out there about it. That's why I put this video together. Now, to be fair, I am recording this as an intro, and I'm actually taking a clip out of a long form video I did covering all four species of New World Hawk Eagles. And so I'm cutting this out of there and recording a separate intro and exit in hopes that if people just want to learn about the Black Hawk Eagle that they have easy access to that information without having to dig through the whole video. So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you learn a lot about the species and I hope we get some good discussion online talking about it as this is an incredible species, the Black Hawk Eagle. The black hawk eagle is one of the coolest New World raptor species there are. Uh, it's sometimes also called the tyrant hawk eagle, and its scientific name is Spizatus tyrannus, which tyrannus, you know, of course in your brain you're thinking Tyrannosaurus rex, or if you're a Star Wars fan, there's Darth Tyrannus. So it's a, it's a cool, rrr, kind of epic, stoic sounding name. Now, I really like this species. Black hawk eagles or tyrant hawk eagles are currently uh, on the conservation species list. They're currently classed as a species of least concern, which means even though they're highly protected, they are a species that currently is not viewed as being in threat of, of being extinct. However, their numbers do seem to be in decline. That it has been noted by biologists. They live throughout southeastern Mexico, Central America, and South America. The population estimates currently of this magnificent species are from 50,000 to about 499,000. So it's pretty, pretty sizable, pretty sizable range there. They uh, typically, their elevation where they're found at is anywhere from sea level up to about 6,000 feet in elevation. So that's, that's a broad range. It is noted that they want dense, humid, uh, tropical space. And the higher you get is more where you find them. So even though they go all the way down to sea level, your population density goes up the higher you get as the higher density populations are able to do better to actually um, feed this population. The wings of this species are proportionately much shorter and much broader than any other of the Spizatus genus, which is any other of the New World Hawk Eagles. Uh, now the rule typically with birds is if you have a long tail and if you have short, broad, rounded wings, you are a bird that is able to be extremely agile. If you want shorter wings to be able to dodge branches, but you gotta have them broad so they can still provide enough lift, but you need a really long tail to be able to adjust because if you're going in between two tree branches and you have to pull your wings in, you're gonna drop. So you have to flare out your tail to be able to not lose the lift and then that tail as you go through those tree branches can fold in and fold back out. So basically the, um, the black hawk eagle is built, its wings and tail are built very similar to the same as a goshawk. Goshawks, especially northern goshawks, goshawks are currently under some reclassification, but a northern goshawk in the traditional sense is a, a, a northern cool weather climb bird that is built to dive through trees going a bajillion miles an hour, just and it's scary enough to be able to fly through trees. But to be able to do so, trying to catch prey that is trying to evade you is incredible. Goshawks do it wonderfully and so does the black hawk eagle. And again, when I did research and digging in, the, the size and shape of these wings are very similar to like a big, large Finnish goshawk. For example, with these big old broad wings that are short but broad, gets them around. This species lives and hunts in dense, lowland, humid forests. It likes the humidity um, and it is built for the shadows. Uh, in other videos, you know, talking about the black and white hawk eagle, the black and white hawk eagle, very close cousin, but very pale and hunts from above from a dive and dives through the trees. Not this bird. The black hawk eagle or the tyrant hawk eagle is a species that lives for the shadows. And you can see by the coloration of the adults. 
this species is very, very closely related to the ornate hawk eagle. It's similar in appearance and behavior to the ornate hawk eagle, but the ornate rules the lower elevations. So even though ornate hawk eagles and black hawk eagles kind of uh, overlap in their range, uh, the black hawk eagle has uh, the, uh, the higher range that it rules over, um, even even though they even though they overlap. So this species, it is able to hunt in ways that if you have not seen before would really kind of blow your mind. The way they are able to adapt and and tack and go back and forth and dodge things is is pretty incredible. And they use that to hunt a very diverse range of prey. The rule in nature is the more the more specialized you are. The more likely you were going to build, you the more likely you are to go extinct. The more diverse you are in both your build and how you live and how you hunt, the more able you are to adapt to change and be able to survive and thrive in all kinds of circumstances. The black hawk eagle has done this. The black hawk eagle hunts an incredibly diverse range of prey. It will hunt pacas, which are like a weird giant rodent thing. It will hunt red-tailed squirrels, which are enormous. It will hunt Andean guan, which are a type of uh, ground bird. It will hunt chachalacas, which are a relative of turkeys and quite sizable. It will hunt squirrel monkeys. It hunts tufted capuchins, which are an even bigger type of monkey. It hunts marmosets, which are a little type of monkey. Now, by the way, if you just say, they hunt monkeys, well, you, the, all of these monkeys live in very different ways they they survive in very different ways and being able to hunt all of these uh shows a lot of variety they hunt kyanids which is strange kyanids are members of the raccoon family so specifically the kyanids that will hunt are kinkajus and also quadamundis which that's interesting this is a predatory bird hunting predatory animals like kinkajous and quadamundis that again shows a very diverse approach to its hunting style it is also fast enough that it will hunt other species of birds it will hunt um it, it's been known to hunt something very small and agile which is a bird called the social flycatcher and it hunts toucans it's kind of wild <laughs> think about toucan sam from the cereal right well the real toucans they actually will hunt and eat However, kind of the, on the upper end of what they hunt that I'm most impressed by, they will hunt macaws, which it, maca I've, I've kept macaws, many species of macaws. The bite force on a macaw is incredible. And if you grab a macaw, it's gonna turn around and try to bite your leg off. So the fact that they are willing to actively and regularly hunt macaws is very impressive. And they will hunt howler monkeys. Now howler monkeys weigh 15 to 22 pounds which is insane because here's a bird that weighs up to 1300 grams that's not very much you know that's like a big red-tailed hawk right 1300 grams and you're hunting howler monkeys that weigh up to 22 pounds and again primates like a howler monkey could turn around and really cause a lot of damage so it's it's kind of interesting that they have that ability now they will also hunt iguanas which iguanas don't put up too much fight but that's a big, powerful lizard, heavy lizard as well. And they are known to hunt snakes, but not as commonly as some of the other hawk eagles. Again, they're mostly going after a weird, strange array of mammals and birds. And uh, that's that's mostly what, and, you know, primates. That's mostly what they're going after. Um, this is a generalist hunter that's going to go after this incredibly wide range. There's not much known about their nesting habit, uh, but both in wild and captive bred, they seem to only lay one egg and they uh, typically only lay one egg like every other year maybe. Sometimes they'll lay them every year, sometimes every other year. Normally the bigger a predatory bird is, then the less often they will breed because if you are big, you are going to require more prey to hunt and your offspring is going to be your replacement and you don't want to be replacing yourself too fast. Uh, if you have too much offspring, then there's not enough food to go around. So that's what we always see. Uh, same thing, like golden eagles will usually only have one or two chicks, and usually only one survives to adulthood. That's pretty normal with bigger birds. So even though the black hawk eagle is a species that, you know, is kind of red-tailed hawk-sized, it rules and dominates its territory with, with such precision that it has benefited it to only lay one egg. 
so that you don't replace yourself. So in other words, that also would indicate that most birds that survive to adulthood, that that adulthood is lasting longer than other species. Because if you, if you live fast and you die young, you get replaced, you gotta keep having offspring. But if you're gonna live and rule your range longer, you gotta, you gotta hang on to that longer. Uh, these birds are really beautiful. The young birds are pale. They start off with these kind of pale stripy colors uh, that are somewhat reminiscent of their very close cousin, the ornate hawk eagle. Ornate hawk eagles as well, when they're young, they have these juvenile colors, same thing. Uh, but the black hawk eagle, over five years, slowly goes through new color molts. It goes color morphs every single year. It gets a new set of feathers until finally, at adulthood, at about five years old, it turns this beautiful black colors that are just absolutely breathtaking, strikingly beautiful. They have the dark crest. They are they have booted feathers going all the way down the legs, and you see some modeling and a little bit of striping on those legs, but for the most part, they're black, and they have beautiful black and dark gray barred tails that are just so beautiful I, I i love these these uh they're not um the ornate hawk eagle is the star of the show normally when it comes to new world hawk eagles everybody oh the ornate hawk eagle but the tyrant hawk eagle or the black hawk eagle this video is about is pretty impressive uh and i i've just fallen in love with him when i've been studying this species so uh i hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about them because i certainly have enjoyed studying them as well well, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you learned, enjoyed learning more about the species. Again, this is a species I, I would love to work with in any capacity. And I hope we get some good discussion online of people talking about the species and get some people who have worked with them directly or observed them in the field directly who can share their thoughts and their experiences as well. Um, if you haven't already, if you could hit subscribe uh, to this channel, I really, uh, really, really appreciate it. Um, I also have my Patreon up and going. If you want to help support this channel, I'm Patreon. Uh, the link is in the description down below. And as always, happy hockey.